So pokeyokis are product features that we talk a lot about in Lean Six Sigma. So that's what this is all about. Now, before we jump in, let me mention if you're interested in a free white belt certification course, you can access one at sixsigmasociety.org. Okay, so what is a pokeyoki? So they're features built into our products or our services that prevent a defect or a mistake from ever happening. Now, if you think back to the cost of poor quality, there's this principle where we'd like to prevent a mistake before it happens than to fix it after the fact. It's much better to prevent it. And polka yokes can help with that. So an example might be if you uh, design phones, you build a feature in that prevents phone volume from reaching a level that would blow the speakers. You build that in to prevent the mistake from happening. Here's another example. Maybe you design a pizza oven so it only operates in a temperature range and for a duration that ensures a crispy crust each time. So we want to make sure these inputs stay within certain ranges and we don't allow them to go outside of that to make sure we get this good result every time to prevent a mistake of burnt pizza from happening. Here's another example. There could be magnets in a grain packaging plant that identify and remove metal pieces prior to packaging. It prevents those things from getting through. Now there's three different types of pokey yokes. There's the contact method, the fixed value method, and the motion step method. So let's talk about these each in more detail. So the contact method are physical features that detect contact and prevent a mistake from happening. An example is a USB cable. It only allows you to put it in one way. If you try to turn it around in the wrong direction, it's going to detect that contact, that wrong contact, and prevent it from being put in. Then there's the fixed value method, which ensures a fixed number of actions are performed. So an online order form is an example of that. It requires you to fill out all of your information, including a proper address. It doesn't allow you to move forward until you do, because these companies don't want orders to happen when data is missing, key data. And then the motion step method is going to confirm that the ordered sequence of steps in some process are correct. So if you're flying planes or launching rockets, you're going to have this pre-flight checklist that you're going to follow step by step to make sure it's done the right way every time. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to check out the free Lean Six Sigma certification course at sixsigmasociety.org.